Hello, my name is Tiffany C. Wright, and I am the Resourceful CEO. Today, I'm here to talk to you about your balance sheet once again. This time, I'm only focused on one portion of your balance sheet called shareholders' equity or owner's equity. And remember, your balance sheet needs to balance, so it's assets equals liabilities plus shareholders' equity. And this is something that's really, really important because just like in your regular life, when you go for loans and so on, your um, the bankers or whomever are funding your personal loans will look at your debt to equity ratio. And well, the same thing happens when you are looking at uh, loans for your business. They take a look at your balance sheet and it's not just lenders who take a look at your balance sheet. I've had, um, there's been instances where I had to help owners convert their shareholders loans into equity so that they would qualify for a government contract because for certain government contracts, you need to have, um, you need to look like you're doing well financially and that means you need to have some reinvestment in your company you need to have a certain amount of shareholders equity but a lot of companies will actually um, a lot of owners will take the money out as a distribution or instead of adding equity into the company they'll add it in as a loan because of course when the loan is repaid, it's not taxable. And that's what you're thinking, and when to lower my taxes. But if you have a high shareholders loan and almost zero equity or even negative equity in the company, your company looks like it's on the verge of financial collapse when someone is looking at your balance sheet. So this is something to keep in mind. You may, if you're only, only, only focused on taxes, then your balance sheet may look very crappy. <laughs> and if your balance sheet, meaning that your your debt to equity is really, really out of whack, is highly, um, yeah, it's, it just looks really bad. So, I mean, and if, again, if it's negative, then that means you have negative equity. So, um, uh, again, but if you have um, 10 times the debt as the equity that you have in your company, that's not good either. Generally, um, you know, one, it, it depends on the industry, but generally less than one to about two is good. Again, if you're in a very capital intensive industry, then that can go up to multiples. But for the app, for this, for service businesses, which have, few assets besides receivables and so on, you should not be taking on that much debt. Um, and you need to reinvest in your company in order for you to have a decent amount of equity. So keep that in mind. Look at your balance sheet and look at how much equity you have in a company. You want to retain some equity. Also, if you're later thinking about selling your company, again, if you've been totally focused on taxes, you're going to have to take two or three years and shore up your balance sheet by reinvesting in the company and letting the retained earnings stay in the company, not taking distributions. All of these, the, the point is, if you want bank financing, if you want someone to buy your company for a good price, if you want to do business with the government, you have to shift your focus to building a strong business wh whose financial strength is reflected in a strong balance sheet and shift your focus away from just minimizing taxes, okay? Focus on a strong balance sheet. The balance sheet conveys the financial health of your company. And so equity is good. <laughs> equity is good, remember that. I'm Tiffany C. Wright the resourceful CEO. If you'd like to set up an appointment to speak with me, please check the information below.
Thank you. Thank you.